Hi there, today we're gonna to be talking all about chicken coops. And the very basic minimum amount of stuff that chickens need for a house. Um, my house that I rented was lucky enough to come with a chicken coop already because the previous owners had chickens. So this was from a kit um, that they had used for a couple of years and then left behind. I've made some modifications since then, but we'll jump right into that and see what you can get from a basic feed supply store out of their kits, or you can also buy them online. They range anywhere from $200 to $500, $800. Like you can go all out for your chicken coop if you really wanna spend a lot of money, but mine was free. So here we go. So mine used to be a basic pitch roof, but we expanded. So I'll start with the basics. So you're gonna need four walls and a roof, and it needs to be secure enough to keep other critters that eat chickens out. So foxes, coyotes, cats, dogs, um, snakes, raccoons, possums, things like that. So that's where a latch comes in and mesh. So you need proper ventilation to keep your chickens dry and healthy and avoid um, diseases, things like that. So there's a little latch and this is hardware cloth, which is better and more secure than chicken wire. You're going to need an area that you can easily reach and clean out. This is a removable tray with um, tin on the bottom and then two or three inches of sawdust or some sort of wood chips. These are very affordable. You can get these from your uh, local feed supply store, pet supply. Um, it's usually a little more expensive, but they still sell it. And you can also get it online. You'll see some chicken poop back there. About every two weeks, I come and clean all this out and put down fresh um, bedding. Some people have a different method where they just layer on top um, new bedding, but I tend to just clean it out because it's not a problem. Then you need a door for the chickens to get into and they have no problem jumping up here from the ground. But if you want to make a little chicken ladder, you can. There was a door which has since fallen off. It used to slide back and forth. I replace it every evening. Inside of a chicken coop, your nesting boxes are over here. I have four chickens, two nesting boxes, and that is adequate. Um, this house fits um, four nicely. You could maybe squeeze six in here, but really a chicken needs a square foot um, to themselves. This is a roosting pole, and it's not perfectly round, and it's not a square either. It's kind of a half moon on top. And at night, um, they naturally come in at sunset, and they get on this little pole and they lock their feet and then they go to sleep. And it had two, but I raised one up because they liked to be up higher. It's got a second door over there that you can also open for ventilation. And then you can see where we raised the roof to make it a little bit taller. And we added in another window. The window has a little shutter, so in the winter time, I can shut this or if it's cold or rainy, but if it's hot, I can open it up and they get some additional ventilation. Um, they don't like a breeze right in their face, but here in Texas, it can be 110 degrees, so a little ventilation helps. This is <coughs> the roof. The roof is just plywood with some asphalt rolled roofing on top. It came this way. You can use wood shingles, you can use corrugated metal or corrugated plastic or normal um, roofing shingles and some wood to make it watertight because they need to stay dry. Um, I added these heavy duty hinges. It used to have little tiny ones and it used to have a little locking hinge but we also increased the size of the nesting box because I have a large chicken. This is the nesting box and there are two of them, but for some reason they all prefer to use this one and they will just queue up in line and like 
chatter at this one to finish up. Um, so I have not gotten them to use this one very often. You can encourage by moving the egg over, but then they just move it back. You can see the thickness of the roof and that it is not the greatest condition because it is probably five to eight years old. I've only been using it for two. I also raised mine up off the ground on some cinder blocks. There's one in each corner and then there's one in the middle because of flooding. So water, when it rained a lot, used to come and get all of this wet and gross. So wet chicken poop smells really bad, but dry chicken poop is not a problem and doesn't. Then I have some other exciting stuff. This I use in the winter time uh, to throw down on top of the snow so they don't have to step in the snow if they don't want to and they can get to their food and water, which by the way, I don't keep their food and water inside uh, because I'm trying to avoid attracting bugs. So their food and water is a couple feet away from their little house. And then I also have a shovel for cleaning out the bottom. And then I have a bin that I keep my sawdust in. I can open it. And this is just from Walmart. It's very affordable. There we go. And there you have it. So uh, just somewhere to keep this dry. I also have more in the garage. And then fencing. You need to make sure, especially for little baby chickens, that you put up some additional chicken wire so they don't get out in the gaps in the fence. And then other than that, they just have a lot of space to run around. I let them in this area, which is where I pull out all of the old bedding and just kind of make a compost here. And then they have all in my backyard too as well. So as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.